Hey there, back in the shop again with another shop tip. Uh, this one's actually a kickback to about two weeks ago, we did a trick on uh, sneaking up on miters using a disc sander like this, and I commented that this, uh, this disc was due for replacement, and a couple of you guys uh, let me know that I should show you how to do that because it's not the easiest thing in the world. So, we're gonna show you how to do that. Um, disc, disc drum sanders like this or disc belt sanders, really common. They actually started out in metalworking, but they work great for woodworking, although they're a little fast sometimes, which is an issue because when you've got the pitch from the wood on here, it starts to build up garbage on the disc itself. If you've got a fine disc on, on it like I do, it's a 100 grit on this, um, the pitch and stuff will start to build up in that real fast. It doesn't mean that you have to replace it right away. So let me show you one trick, which is this rubber crepe sold block, I guess, for whatever uh, better lack of, of terminology it is. But they sell these in an awful lot of places and it's really pretty inexpensive. The idea is it's a big eraser, okay? So what happens is you turn it on, and I will for a second, and you rub this always on the down side to keep it from going up like this. Stay away from this side, stay over here. You work it across here a little bit and it's gonna throw some rubber pieces into the air. But the idea is it works some of that gummy stuff and pitch out of the disc and gives it a little more life. Let me show you how it works. So you could probably see the colors on the disc were changing as I was moving this across it. See that rubber stuff on there? That's it. But it's not a, uh, it's not a cure necessarily, but it will keep the disc alive longer. Um, inexpensive way to fix it. Now, when it is too far gone as this is, it's time to replace it. First of all, I'm gonna unplug this because it's just a smart idea. The complication is, as you start to peel this off, you get halfway, see this one's already loose, which is terrible. You get halfway down here and the stuff that's sticking is good. You get to this point and then you try and turn the wheel to get the rest of it off and you can't because it sticks the rest back on. So you could take this whole table off and allow it free, but that's a few bolts and a few things that you wanna fight with, but there's an easier way to do it. And I may have to give this a grip. That's pretty good adhesive, okay? So this is actually pulling off pretty hard. And so what I'm gonna do is use a little lacquer thinner behind it, just dribble in a little bit and try and break that adhesive a little bit and see if that'll knock it off a little faster. Different solvents will work better. And I don't wanna get it too wet, but it'll kinda of hang in there. And we can just pull this down. Well, that's coming off nice. Now here's the trick. Here's where we get stuck. What do we do? Well, we wanna play a little bit of fold over here. Tuck that in like that. Let it roll up again. Then you can come over and pull the rest of it off from this direction. That lacquer thinner dropped in there nice. That's doing a great job. Pull a little bit more. And because we've released that other side of the disc, as we get further, uh, the lacquer thinner is all over the place now, which is fine, except it makes it hard to get a grab. As that seeps in behind it and it releases from the other side, Put a little more. Let it soak in for a second. Pull a little bit at a time. And again, it's released from the other side, so once this lets go, we won't have to fight with the sticking to the other side. We're almost there, there we go. And we're free. Now the trick is, while we've got the lacquer thinner out, Let's see this extra adhesive there. Let's get some of that off of there. So I'm gonna clean this and get the, the gum off of it because we want as tight a fit with the next one, next disc as we can get. And the idea is we don't want lumps behind it because if you're working on trying to flatten something out nicely and there's a lump behind your sanding disc, that is just gonna cause a high spot that's gonna run and do nasty things. So take the time with some solvent, some thinner here, Clean the whole thing off. Once we've got this clean, I'll show you how to put the new disc on. There you go. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. This actually took a few minutes because there was a lot of gunk on here. And it's, it's worth the time. Once again, you don't want those bumps underneath your disc that are gonna translate into a high spot when you're trying to sand something perfectly accurate. So, we're, we're pretty clean here. I'm pretty happy with this. Now comes the next hard part. 
you've got your new disc, and again, I'm working with 100 grit, which is fine. You can choose whatever you want. I find that a good one for the fine work that I do here, but you may want to go with an 80 or something like that. Now, the trick is the same kind of amazing adhesive that's on the last one is on the back of here. So we may have a little bit of fun getting it off. What we want to do, oh, this is actually breaking more than I want it to. I want to pull it off in a sheet, but it's, it's ripping. What I want to do is expose half of this, maybe a third of this, okay? Well, it looks like we're going to go this way. We're doing all right. So we're going to expose. <laughs> we don't want to get it stuck on the back of it when we go to get there. So try and get as much as you can. So clean a third or a half, expose, I guess, a third or a half of the disc. There we go. That'll work. Now here's the trick. We're going to hold it like this. This is the piece that still has the plastic on it. We're going to slide it down against this without letting the sticky side contact until we're in exactly the right spot, okay? So you slide it down, and this part isn't going to stick, so that's the good part. But again, don't let this grab until you're ready for it to grab. We get it right in place, and you're measuring left to right, and at the top, I'm in a good place right there. So I'm going to stick the top part on here. Then we roll it to the side that hasn't been removed. Pull the rest of the backing off. Make sure you get all the backing off. That tough piece right there. We're good, we're clean. And now it's simply pushing it in place. You wanna give it a few taps. Honestly, if you wanted to, you could Start it up, push piece against it, and that pressure will wear in the adhesive to the disc. We've got a nice clean 100 grit disc ready to go, and it sticks all the way around because we cleaned it underneath and made it nice and tight. So there you go, that's our trick for today.